Grizzly Creek fire has now burned close to 4,000 acres with no sign of slowing down. Crews returned for day three of fire containment efforts and KREX 5's Katrin Asaf is live from Glenwood Springs with what this massive fire looks like now. Katrin, what do you have for us? Rob, that's right. As you can tell, it's nighttime, so you can't exactly see where all this smoke is. But if you look behind me, this is the general area where all of that smoke is coming from. The Grizzly Creek fire, as you just said, has burned close to 4,000 acres so far. That was the last estimate um, with 0% contained. Now, it is a type 2 incident currently, um, which is based on the complexity of the fire. Tomorrow, it's moving to type 1, which just shows how big this fire and how complex this fire has gotten. I spoke to a worker at Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park who was actually rock climbing when the fire began, as well as an incident manager commander who wants you to know that these dry conditions can spark a fire like that. Mere miles away from the Glenwood Caverns in Venture Park, a fire is raging out of control. The latest figure we had for acreage was uh, 3,700. 3, the Grizzly Creek fire began just two days ago, but has already caused numerous evacuations and the closure of a major highway. It's expected to get worse. Another hot day, we have the wind and, and activity is really picking up. Wednesday shift to a type 2 incident team focused on securing structures and protecting the Shoshone power plant in the path of the growing flames. What we're doing a lot of today is what's called point protection. So these um, particular areas that are uh, that we're most concerned about, like structures, like the power plant, those sorts of things. We're making sure that's where the people are and, and, and getting it ready. For Trevor Peterson, he's been watching this fire burn since the beginning. We were rock climbing on the uh, north side of the, the river there up near No Name, and uh, a couple fire trucks went past when I was climbing one of the routes there. Um, and then at that point, we, the next route I went up, noticed that there are no more cars in the canyon. Avoiding the heavy smoke and flames just in time. 25 minutes later or so, I look off to the right and there's a, a bunch of smoke coming over to the top of the, the ridge lines that I could tell that there was a definitely bigger fire than initially anticipated. And at that point, decided probably was a good time to pack up our stuff. But as a tour guide at Glenwood Caverns, he's not free from the fire just yet. I definitely have noticed a decent amount of spreading, both mainly north and south from what I can tell from our vantage points here. As crews continue to fight the Grizzly Creek fire, David warns that in these conditions, fires can easily turn from a spark into this. Watching the Pine Gulch fire and watching this one isn't, you know, that, that should be convincing enough, but we're just, we're, we're really at an extremely dangerous time in terms of fire behavior. Now, I'm not wearing my mask currently, first of all, because I'm social distancing, there's no one near me, but also it's covered in ash, um, absolutely caked on with ash because of the fire when we were up there in Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. It was just um, coming down the embers from the fire. Again, it has grown to both the north and south side of the Glenwood Canyon, and that's why I-70 is still shut down between Glenwood Springs and Gypsum. For the time being, there is no reopening plan, but we will update you on a reopening plan on our website, westernslopenow.com, and our Facebook page, Carrie X5 Fox 4, as well as CDOT's Twitter page and CDOT's page, cotrip.org. If you check all those sites, we will let you know the minute the I-70 reopens once this fire is under containment enough that motorists can get through the canyon. First on the Western Slope and live in Glenwood Springs, Katrin Asaf, Carrie X5 News. Rob.